Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm Stephen. If you were diagnosed in the chronic phase of CML, which most people are, most likely your treatment will be an oral pill. Now what do we mean by that? Many people with CML are prescribed TKIs. That stands for tyrosine kinase inhibitor. Usually you take your pill once or twice a day depending on the TKI that you're taking. TKIs block the signals that cause cancer cells to grow. With CML, they impact the BCR ABO protein by stopping it from causing the uncontrolled growth of white blood cells. There are five major TKIs used to treat CML. These are split into three generations. The first generation drug is called imatinib or Gleevec. There are three second generation drugs. They are nilotinib, which is Cigna, the satinib, also known as Spicel, and basutinib, also known as Bosulif. There's one third generation drug that's been approved, and that is called panatinib or Eclusig. Each generation of drug is better at targeting specific mutations. These, these drugs are usually more effective than earlier generations, but they might have more side effects. If you have been diagnosed in the accelerated or blast phase, which are called advanced CMO, then your treatment might be a little different. For example, if you're diagnosed at the blast phase, most likely you will need to go through a stem cell transplant. There are a lot of different TKI options, depending on if you have pre-existing conditions or the availability of TKIs in your country, or insurance coverage might also be a consideration as to which TKI you take. The important thing to know is that there are lots of options for CML survivors, and this is good news. So if you're experiencing a lot of different side effects with the TKI that you're currently on, you might be able to switch to another TKI, or you might also consider adjusting the dosage. And we would encourage you to talk to your medical team about that. A little bit of my background, I was diagnosed with CML in 2011 and was prescribed nilotinib or Tisigna. I started on 800 milligrams, which is the maximum dosage, and over eight and a half years, I took the same drug, but I was able to reduce my dose over time from 800 milligrams all the way down to 300 milligrams. After eight and a half years of treatment on nilotinib, I was able to stop my drug, and I've been in treatment-free remission for over two years now. To learn more about CML and healthy living, please subscribe by clicking the button below. Thanks for all your comments and sharing your experiences. We have really appreciated getting to know our subscribers. So if you haven't already subscribed, now is your chance. Thank you for watching today. Together we heal.